Hi and welcome to the first edition um, of a series of tutorial videos I'll be putting together um, for some current DJ technology which is out there. Today for the first edition we're going to be discussing how to link your CDJ 2000s up to Track to Scratch Pro. Um, I'm going to be using OSX so this tutorial um, will be how to hook them up to Track to Scratch Pro on a Mac using a MacBook. Um, just before we get started, I know many of you with MacBooks are probably um, going to be, like me, a little bit limited um, in what you can, how much you can plug into your MacBook as far as USB ports go. Um, I'll show you the hardware that I've got in a second. Uh, to combat this, it's usually easiest just to get a four port USB plug. Um, and I've also read that it's, it's a really good idea to make sure you get a good one of those. So you want to get one that's powered from the wall. So there's a lot of information that travels between your CDJ and your computer. We don't want that to be laggy. So I'm going to jump over now and um, we'll show you the gear um, and then we'll move on to how to set up the software. So here we have three CDJ 2000s uh, in combination with my FX1000 and also my DJM800. Um, today obviously we're going to be linking those CDJ 2000s up to the MacBook there. Now, as I mentioned just before, the easiest solution for your MacBook is probably just going to be to get a uh, four port USB port plug to go into your MacBook. Now that's the, that's the easiest solution. Um, and just as I said, make sure you try and get a good one because if it's if it's powered by USB, you may run into difficulties with the amount of data that gets transferred um, between the computer and the CDJ 2000s. Um, so it's quite simply, at the back of each of the CDJs, you'll find a USB port. You just simply plug all of those together and you plug them into your four port hub and you plug your four port hub into your computer. So that's as simple as the hardware side of it goes. I'm just going to jump on the computer now, try some new screen capture software, um, and we'll be discussing how uh, to set the software up to integrate with Traktor. So as we all know, Traktor uh, unfortunately only has native support for singular sound cards. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up an aggregate sound device um, and how to link that in with Traktor and what to do on your CDJs. So guys, as discussed just before, um, we've got all your CDJs and stuff plugged into your 4 port hub and you're going to be plugging that into your MacBook Pro or your MacBook. I've just got a MacBook unfortunately. I have to say it comes in quite handy having a smaller uh, smaller laptop for those smaller booths that you have out in clubs. So um, as you can see here, we've just got your standard OS X. Um, today we're just going to simply open, um, it's called audio MIDI, MIDI setup. Really basic, just open it up. Um, I used Spotlight there to search for audio. Now once audio MIDI, MIDI setup opens, you can press Command, Shift and A, and that will open up your aggregate devices. Now essentially what happens is each one of your CDJs becomes a separate sound card. So what we want to do is we want to put all those sound cards together to make one big sound card. So as you can see here, for mine, I've called mine Rack, and you can see my Pioneer CDJ 2000s just there. Uh, now, they've all been selected. Um, what I'm just going to quickly do is the CDJs are currently turned off, so we're just going to close those down. We'll close, turn the CDJs back on, like so. Let's give them a quick second to boot themselves up. Obviously those of you that have got CDJ 2000s and are uh, be all going to be looking forward to integrating those into your nearest club so you no longer have to deal with time code CDs, which is really good. So we'll just open up the audio MIDI setup again and just remember Command Shift A and what you want to do, I'm not going to create one because I've already got one there, just click Add um, and you'll get an aggregate device and you just want to select your CDJs there on the aggregate device. Pioneer, 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 etc, etc, etc. Um, and then you can rename your device, whatever you want to call it. So for now, I'm just going to delete that because I've already got mine set up as Rack. I've called mine Rack and I've added all the CDJ2000s just there. 
Um, I'm actually yet to try it and yet to implement it into my own setup, but as far as I'm aware, you'll probably be able to um, tick your built-in output there as another um, device to add to your um, aggregate devices to put it into that sound card, um, and you'll be able to use that as a fourth output um, in Tractor. And that can also be quite handy for those of you that are only using two CDJ 2000s or whatever. So that's, that's as simple as it gets there, and as you can see, those are no longer blanked out because the CDJs are on. So they're active. Now simply all we need to do is we need to launch Tractor. Um, as mentioned just before, this is the latest uh, 1.2.5 update released by Tractor uh, probably on the 25th or 26th of March 2010. So here we go, Tractor is loading up. We're loading the collection there. All you're going to want to do, obviously mine's been set up to deal with uh, this before, um, you just want to go into your settings and you're going to want to open audio setup and all you want to do is select you've got all your different CDJs there I got a bit confused the first time I opened this up I thought it was strange um, as mentioned Tractor doesn't have native support for multiple sound cards so you just want to go and you're just going to select that rack um, and so as you can see there 0 in 6 out so that of course I've got two CDJs uh, with the stereo output in each equals 6 outputs that's all you need to do from the tractor side of stuff. Um, I'll jump back on the video camera now and I'll show you how to link your CDJs into Tractor. Um, you do all your assignment onto your decks A, B, C and D from the CDJ. So I'm going to jump on there and show you that now. Um, we've now got the software side of stuff all set up and it's just a matter of getting the CDJ set up. So I'm just going to take camera off the tripod there. I'm going to take this for a wee walk. Now what you can see there um, is obviously the display on the CDJ2000. All you're going to want to do, um, I'll start with this CDJ here just because um, I'm going to set this up on channel A. Um, you want to press the link button up here. Here is link. And it's going to come up and it's going to have a wee thing that says USB mini. It's going to say push to connect. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and press the same one there, push to connect. So push to connect on there. All you simply do is you press um, the knob on the side, push, and it says turn encoder. So you can turn that encoder and you can get that CDJ to select whatever channel it wants in Tractor, whether it be deck A, deck B, deck C, or deck D. So for this CDJ, I want to put that on deck A. Over here, push to connect, and we're going to put this on deck B for now, um, and we won't worry about the third CDJ at the moment. Um, of course, um, your CDJs, um, they all just get routed into your mixer um, as you normally would with any other normal audio output. Um, I've got the DJM800, so I'm doing it by digital input, uh, which is just a singular RCA cable. Um, so from there, you'll look up here on Tractor. What you can actually do is you can use, and you can see down the bottom there, um, I'll just make the browse a wee bit larger. As you can see there, um, you can use the knob on your CDJ to control um, what you're going to be playing off your CDJ. Yes, what you're going to be playing off Tractor. Um, and down here we've got back and we've also got tag tag track uh, slash remove um, now that's it. tag tag track slash remove as a default option um, selects the folder that you want to go into so we'll load, load a house track um, we'll see what I've got new in my house collection at the moment uh, jump down to March 2010 um, hit the back button um, and that gets you into being able to select what track you want so that's all just using these three buttons right here. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, let's chuck on. What do we want to play today? We'll put on uh, Shakedown, the Bass Clef Remix. All you need to do once you want to select it is just press down on the button. Done. And as you can see there, the name of the track comes up on CDJ. From there, it's as simple as pressing play. And as you can see, the audio is going to be coming out just there. And I need to turn my amp on before we're going to hear anything. And that is how to set up your CDJ 2000s with Tractor. Also, 